electronic artist, but I also work as a sound designer. I could be working doing ambisonic audio for Google or some content creation for Apple to you know creating sounds for an electric car to uh, scores, um, sound effects for video games, as well as music composition and mastering for my own works. So I'm using audio and, and integrating audio into multiple different technologies and into different environments. I know I, I didn't want to have a large um, analog console taking up um, you know, a huge amount of space in my studio. I just wanted something that was smaller. The benefit of having analog summing, getting all the headroom and the clarity with like a dangerous two bus plus. No matter what format I'm working in or what field I'm working in, I'm getting an accurate sonic picture of what's happening without any questioning of, of you know, what I'm doing. Um, so it's a very truthful representation of my work. Actually, the Monitor ST was my introduction into the dangerous music gear altogether. It was when I was building my studio in 2012. That was a major turning point for me when I got the DAC ST with the Monitor ST. In comparison to my old monitor controller, it was like night and day. There was the clarity, the punch, um, the definition. It was super, super hi-fi, almost like, like an audiophile experience. I spent probably three weeks just listening to music. I didn't even make any music. I was just listening to stuff through it. I felt like I had a brand new studio again. I try to do pretty light minimal processing uh, these days, so I, I'm, you know, I have a few plugins sprinkled around the mix, but I'm really trying to get away from using a lot of plugins and just kind of getting the mix dialed in, like a really nice sum mix, and then kind of doing a little bit of pro like post kind of processing with analog hardware. That's kind of been my more recent thing using more of the 500 series in conjunction with the dangerous um, analog summing. It sounds more interesting and organic to me. It's this really simple, easy to understand, you know, clean ergonomics, everything's just right there in front of you. There's nothing to get confused about. Their outputs are their steps. You can easily recall, you know, volume settings or trim settings. You can really, really dial in things accurately if you need to go back to something or revisit a mix. They made it really easy for people like me who want to have a, you know, hassle-free uh, way of working. So it's non-confrontational to your creative flow, which you want it to just be seamless. I don't feel obstructed in any way when I'm working creatively with it. And I love gear where you, you kind of integrate it into your, your process and it works so well you don't even feel it's there. You, know, you don't have to really even think about it too much, it just works.